All right, here we go. The mighty return of Tony Yeo. Fresh out the 50 Cent final lap international tour. I got to move like this now because I'm back in New York. I'm uh, not in Australia no more. I had yeah. fun. You could be off point. You know, it's different. You could be off point in Australia. Mm. They don't even got guns out there. Right. So living, so being out there for six months, four to, well, I'll say half of the tour was there. So I say three months to four months mm -hmm. overseas to come back to New York. There's all you see, you know, Pooh Shiesties and, you know. Yeah. It's back to this. Back to this. Back well, to New York. For loud. We back, man. Final We're lap back. tour. Huh? We're back. And I want to talk about the final lap tour in a second, mm -hmm. but I can't start off the interview without talking about what's happening with Cat Williams Oh, right shit. now. Right. Would you say that Cat Williams is the 50 set of comedy right now? I would say that I met Cat, and um, <laughs> he definitely went... All right, so when we look at comedy, I look at it like this. This got to be like... I couldn't even say top five. I say top 10. Mm. So... With starting in the top five, we're going to go with what? Richard Pryor? Mm -hmm. Right? People don't understand. Richard Pryor was in so many movies from Toy to... It was different, man. It was just different movies. I told you Toy is one of my favorite movies. Mm -hmm. Superman 3, right. to me, is when he crossed over. Yeah. If people don't know, that's, that came out years, years ago. But he was, to me, was like the first black actor to kind of cross over. Not one of the first, but that was big. Because Superman, come on, Clark Kent was like, you know, man, as a kid. <laughs> yeah. So Richard Pryor, and then I would go with Eddie Murphy, number right. two. Me too. Because I don't know, would you count movies in there too, or just stand up? It's hard to say, but I, I think if you combine them, both of them, that's how you throw Richard Pryor and Eddie Murphy above everyone else. Yeah, because I'm looking the at the movie. Comedic. I'm looking at the movies too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Raw. You know, coming to America. Trading places. Beverly Hills Cop. Come right. on, bro. What was my man in Beverly Hills Cop with him? The white dude. What's his name? Oh, the... My man, Beverly Hills Cop. Judge Reinhold. All right, cool. That's that's that him right there. Beverly Hills right. Cop. How many of it was a sequel? It was one, two, and well, three. Well, there's a new one that's coming out, like, soon. With Eddie Murphy? Yeah, with Eddie Murphy. Oh, yeah, I'm going to check that one. Yeah, probably on Netflix. But the second something. Coming to America was... Uh, yeah, the first one was It was, was kind of hard to top the first one. Boomerang was one of my favorites. Oh, come on. Eddie Murphy got classics. That's why I put him number two. Yep. Number three, who would you put there? <sighs> Dave Chappelle? Yeah, I'm going with Dave Chappelle. Yeah. Because his series was just yeah, too crazy. Right, plus his TV show was, was Yeah, epic. his TV show was nuts. The Chappelle show was like, yeah. number four, I got to put Martin. You got to put Martin there. Yeah. I, I guess- Movie-wise the... and Martin the show. Come on, he had Biggie Smalls on there. Remember we got oh, beat oh, up yeah, by no, Tommy Hearns? The Martin Hearns. The show was epic. He hosted Def Comedy Jam at his abs absolute height. Right. So we talking stand-up and movies in the mm -hmm. combination. Right. Now that now what's that? Four? Yeah, that's four. Now, number five, who would you put there? No, hold, hold on. Okay, so we got Pryor, Murphy, mm -hmm. Chappelle, mm -hmm. Martin. Martin. So now we got five. Ooh, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. We might have to put Cat that number five, geez. Cat, yeah. I, I'll put Cat over Kevin Hart. Personally, I understand that Kevin Hart's probably I, more accomplished. I mean, yeah, I know he's more accomplished and he got like better management or whatever, or whatever the case may be. But Cat Williams, yeah, I'm gonna put him number five, geez. Then number six, see this, we, we can't leave our white com comedians too, though. Seinfeld? Like, I'll put, I like John Candy. Okay, well, he never did stand up, did he? I think he did. He may have, but he's known for. But I like John Candy movies, like yeah. Uncle Buck and all the other movies he was in. That's one of my favorite. You know what I mean? Seinfeld, of course, on there. But I'll put Jim Carrey there. I don't. Jim Carrey got to be up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah come yeah. on, just Jim, just for Jim Carrey. Think about him being on in Living Color, because mm -hmm. you got to think about how many people the Wayne's brothers put on. Right. J Lo, Jim Carrey, Jamie Fox. Mm -hmm. Everybody was on in Living Color first. Uh, George Carlin. Definitely. George Collins got to be up there. Yeah. But then, then there's Jamie Foxx, like you just said. That's another big one. Oh, Jamie Foxx with the stand-up? Now you got to put Bernie Mac somewhere in it. Bur yeah, I guess Bernie Mac. I guess, yeah. See, the Jamie Foxx is so multi-talented because he's got an Oscar for doing Ray, and he also sings. But I guess on the comedy side, there's other comedians that are it's so many comedians. There's so many comedians, but I guess everybody got an opinion on who's, who's the best. Uh, I mean, Chris Rock. Yeah, Chris Rock, you got to throw you him got, You got to throw him in there. You got to throw Chris Rock in there. Uh, and, you know, although he's not in everyone's good graces right now, there's Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby does stand-up? Bill Cosby does stand-up. You never seen Bill Cosby's uh, parenthood or uh, uh, fatherhood? 
No. That's one of the biggest stand-ups of all time. No, I've never seen You've never that. seen that? Oh, you're bugging. You I know, I know I made Bill Cosby from the Cosby show, so I'm Well, just... I mean, there's that, but then his stand-up career, plus he was, you know, Uptown, Uptown Saturday Night and all that type of, you know, right. all those big films. Yeah. Um, hmm. hmm. So what do you think about Cat? I think, I think Cat, I mean. Cat, Cat is definitely top 10. You could argue for top five. Cat is going to say what he want to say, man. And, yeah. and that's just who Cat Williams is. I remember we, I remember meeting him, and when he did the show, he came out for 50 had him out for I think one of the shows in Atlanta and he came out and he was like he was like hiding behind something. Yeah, it was Tycoon Weekend. He was hiding behind something. And then he just came running out and I was just like, yo, this motherfucker, when he's in his zone, mm. he's in his zone. Yeah. But Kevin Hart is a good businessman. You can't take that from him. He's like Yeah. No, you know, I mean he's a great businessman and you know, listen, he has movies with the rock. Once you yeah, once you're in movies with the rock, you, yeah, it's you, over. You, but you, in, good. in terms of like my brand of comedy, I would put Cat above Kevin Hart. Of course. I mean, yeah, I would too. Because I feel like, you know, Cat Williams, even when he got jumped by the little kid, like, took him down, <laughs> he flipped that. He came to Brooklyn the next day. Made jokes about and it. And made jokes about it. Yep. Like, who could make jokes about themselves? That's some, like, I like Cat because Cat got a Richard Pryor style of me. Oh, yeah, you got to throw Mike Epps on there, though. See, I think Mike Epps is Yo, better. Yo, listen, I went to a show in Atlanta during Final Lap Show, okay. Final Lap Tour, and Mike Epps had me crying out my seat. And I forgot his guy's name. I'm sorry, but his guy was funny as shit too, bro. I'm sorry, I gotta remember his name. If you if we could find out his name, one of y'all, he his his it's one guy that is funny as fuck with Mike Epps. I gotta have Mike Epps on that list because when you think about Friday, and I spoke to Mike Epps about this, for him to do Friday too. He was following Chris. He Tucker. told me personally nobody on set believed in him. Yeah. So I'm looking at him coming after Chris Tucker to do Friday 2. And Friday 2, come on, you know the sequel. It's hard to do the sequel. Mm -hmm. It's one of the hardest things to do in the world. And I was just like, yo, Mike Epps. Even on Janky Promoters, him and Ice Cube, that was one of my favorites too. Yeah, I mean, and then Shout out to Chris Ice Cube. I do love Ice Cube. You remember the whole Biggie thing? Yeah, yeah we're going to talk about that. I do love Ice Cube. We're going to talk about that. But, I mean, uh -huh. Chris Tucker... At his height, you know, before he turned like super Christian and just started doing rush hour movies, I felt that he was he was the best of that era at that time. Right. You know, when he did like Def Comedy Jam, then he did Friday, then he did Money oh, Def, Talks. Def Comedy Jam was the that was the shit. That was the shit. There was some good shit on back then. Like yeah. it, it was some good shit, some good content. Def Comedy Jam was definitely the funniest shit. I mean, uh Cat Williams burned everybody. I mean, he's going to say what he want to say. Some people are just like that. Yeah. I'm like that. Some I say what I want to say. A lot of people say what they want to say. You know, you know, it, what has he got to lose? He's already a millionaire. He's rich already. Right. He's, he's a You know multi, what I'm saying? So he just, he's expressing himself. He's going to say what he got to say. It's all good. You know, but some people might offend to it. But I like Tiffany Haddish. I like Kevin Hart. I like, you know, Steve Harvey. I like I like all these people. Yeah, Cedric so, and Yeah, Cedric Ludacris the Entertainer. And I think everybody. they Ludacris, they all legends. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? In itself. So you he gonna ruffle some feathers, but Cat Williams don't give a fuck. That's just what he do. Oh yeah, that was like the hit him up of comedy interviews right Definitely. there. Definitely. So <laughs> you Cat, know I mean? you know, shout to Cat Williams. He going do what he do and shout to everybody you mentioned because they all legends anyway. So Right. You know, it's, it's everybody just going to talk about it. It's, it's crushing the internet right now. That's oh, all. Oh, yeah. And everyone about. he's talking about is responding from Michael Blackson. To, oh, we got to throw Ricky Michael Smiley, Blackson on our list, to everybody. too. Yeah. Yeah, man. All, all people that I've interviewed that have come on my What's show. What's Mike Epps guy? Henry Welch. Henry, Henry, Henry Welch. Welch. I went to a show. He's funny. You got to check him Henry out. Henry Welch. Okay. Yeah, I'm him and Mike Epps. I'm going to check him out. 